a Viper pretty quiet right now, like it was yesterday, but even quieter. Northwoods yesterday was pretty lit up. Now, there's a thunderstorm complex just south of Superior heading towards Rice Lake. The rest of us very quiet, but a few clouds, as uh, Charles was mentioning. We're going to be watching that stuff coming out of the UP, though, over the next couple of hours. To the graphics we go. Tomorrow, isolated. Once again, like today, nothing like we had last night for tonight or tomorrow, but there will be pop-up showers or maybe even a rumble of thunder. Then for the weekend, we can still be a little on the cooler side, but not a lot. We're going to be in the mid to upper 70s here. Normal is 80, so we could actually call it pretty nice around here. Saturday, still a slight chance of a pop-up shower. Sunday looks to be the first full dry day uh, over the next couple of days. Comfortable afternoon after a chilly start. It was in the 40s once again up north. 72 now in Rhinelander, 75 in Green Bay. 76 in Madison and no 80s on the map today and we are the coolest part of the state with that easterly wind off the water. Our lows this morning comfortably cool once again 52 in Waukesha and Burlington 58 Racine and 55 in West Bend. There were some of those clouds in the uh, Waukesha area that Charles was mentioning and uh, no rain as of yet but you could maybe squeeze out a sprinkler or two yet this afternoon but I'm still expecting a few pop-up showers sometime after five o'clock up until around eight o'clock but not once again not as strong as yesterday. Room temperature in Waukesha at 72 degrees a light northwesterly wind at 70 in Racine 74 Fond du Lac and almost 80 in Janesville at this hour, that water temperature a little on the cool side. So with that easterly wind at the lakefront, that's why we're stuck in the upper 60s. In fact, 66 degrees right now here at the station. Wind is less than 10 miles per hour for the most part. This evening, we will see a few showers before uh, about 8 o'clock. Other than that, partly cloudy. Temperatures dropping back into the mid to upper 50s. So a damp and cool night yet again. Tomorrow, we're right back up into the upper 70s. That roller coaster ride, which is typical for March and maybe, let's say, October. Not the end of July, where temperatures are usually pretty steady uh, in the 80s and humid. Not this year. Uh, it's been a, a wild ride, to say the least. But tomorrow, comfortable with highs in the upper 70s. We'll get a few of those pop-up showers this evening. Tomorrow afternoon, once again, a few showers popping up, maybe a rumble of thunder, and the best chance of rain looks to be on Friday afternoon around the state as another little disturbance trickles out of the UP. But for tonight, a few evening showers, otherwise partly cloudy and cool at 58. Tomorrow, 78. What a great day for the start of the fair. There will be a few afternoon pop-up showers. Hopefully they miss the fairgrounds. Otherwise, duck into one of the pavilions and do some shopping and eating. That's what the fair is all about. 10-day outlook, 80 on Friday with a better chance of rain, but still not a washout. 77 in an isolated shower on Saturday. Sunday looks to be dry and 78. And next week, 70s and 80s. Next weekend still looks to be on the cool side. Back all right. Brian, thanks.